What can we learn from celebrities and their plastic surgery, whether it's good or bad? First up is Jennifer Aniston. What do you think? I think she looks great. I think she's a perfect example of someone that's had a, maybe a little bit of work done, maybe to her nose, to look prettier. She looks too fabulous not to have done something, <laughs> but you can't tell what it is. And I think that's the magic of having good procedures done, whether it be surgery or non-surgical, and I think she looks great. Right, I mean, it, she's just a great example of this. You know, is it good plastic surgery? Is it good whatever? We don't even know. We're all plastic surgeons. We do this for a living, and we just know that she looks fabulous. Um, you know, she might have had some things. I think it's probably evident that she's had a rhinoplasty. She's mm -hmm. probably had some filler, but again, we're speculating, and all we really see is someone who really looks beautiful. Here, here's the dangerous thing about Jennifer Aniston, and I would tell you, I think she's the prettiest. But if you look at her carefully, people want to mimic her sometimes. She has a really strong jawline, yep. almost mm -hmm. an extra strong chin, almost extra strong cheeks. And in her, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with celebrities, because your average patient wants to come in and have those exaggerated views, they could look just downright terrible. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think also we always get wary when a patient comes in and says, I want to look like so and so. Right. That's a red flag sometimes. But Jennifer Aniston is a great example of great plastic surgery. Dr. Adams, take a look at this. This is the Barbie doll model. What do you think? Extreme or no? <laughs> I think it's just a very natural look and uh, you know <laughs> exactly it's great. Oh my yeah. God. No, I mean come on, it's a this is it's a joke, but this is kind of Everything that you fear about unnatural plastic surgery is not the norm that any well-trained plastic surgeon would try to strive for a patient. There's also some issues with the patient's perception of their body image. Brad, I mean, what do you think? It's scary. I mean, it's scary. I mean, but she is getting a lot of attention. Yeah. That, I think, is the point. But the problem is it kind of brings our profession into promoting that unusual look, and that's mm -hmm. difficult. If she's walking down the street of Louisville, Kentucky, where I practice, I can guarantee you, nobody's gonna see her and run to my office. Mm -hmm. Nobody perceives that as a great job. And so obviously, it's just a fringe type of procedure, a person. Now let's go to Heidi Montag. She's been big in the, in the news about having a lot of regrets and it's obvious she's had a lot of procedures done. What are your thoughts? Well, I think her breasts are too big. Mm -hmm. I don't think they fit her body. And I think there's some long-term consequences of this. Well, she's made celebrity out of having plastic surgery. That is her celebrity. And so in some ways it has to be extreme to make it celebrity status or worthy. And so, you know, she does everything too extreme and there's going to be a long-term consequence for her and she's starting to experience some of that regret now. It sends the wrong message, you know, to 16 surgeries. She's never going to be able to correct that. You know, long-term she will have horrendous problems that she'll have to deal with. So it really sends the wrong message to patients and it's unfortunate that the celebrity-ism part of that propagates that message to patients. She's okay. lost the youthfulness to her face. She almost looks older and more angular and unusual. Yeah, and we all know what she's going to look like 10 and 15 years mm -hmm. from now. When you've had 16 surgeries that young, there's a yes. price to pay. And, and mm -hmm. we have to look down the line and say, what's going to happen to this patient if we keep operating on him? But now, you know, two years later, she says she regrets all the surgeries. Well, the, the, we're, we're, not, we're not that surprised, but our message mm -hmm. is to, to other people is that much surgery that young cannot be a good thing. You but know, I constantly deal with my friends who think I'm like there to sort of evaluate everybody, so they're constantly asking me, are those real, are those not mm -hmm. real? You, we all, and I'm sure, get that and we hear that. You know, and, and obviously, the ones that are obvious we notice, you know, and I can say, sure. But, you know, many times they probably are, do have breast augmentations and I just don't know and I can't really tell. Those are the great ones. Mm -hmm.